Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another Eagle Moss Star Trek The Official Starships Collection model review. Right, I've done this model before. Simple reason I'm doing this now is because I have another version of this. This is what... I, I did the review for this ages ago, which I did the first 120, I think it was, trying to catch up with the collection, and it was a case I did 10 in a, in a section just to throw through the models and that was fine and the specials and the freebies, which this one was. Now, I want to do a comparison with you, because this is one of the... I think there's, there's at least three of the models that have been released. I think there was problems either with the sales or with the companies or something along the line. But this is what I got. Let me get you in. I'm going to try and do an old review like I used to do. Here's the Enterprise D, the Dreadnought version. Yellow guns, torpedo launcher behind the bridge. If you're going to miss, you're going to blow your head off. Third nacelle, which looks really good on this. Okay, right. I do like these. The extra section on the back end there. Massive, massive impulse engines on the back there. As well as using painting the ones on the saucer, which should never have been used unless the saucer is separated. Get underneath that big, massive gun underneath. And then they split the number like that so it wasn't too close together it's really really good there's even bits on here i've never really fully noticed how far back the gun went but maybe on the back it could have been kind of a vent or something back in the ship looking virtually exactly the same as what it should do except these lovely little winglets and then the extra panels on top of there as well cool a little bit on the flashing but these really eagle mosses anyway so that's fine i can let them let them off with it now there are th at least three models out there klingon the enterprise and oh it, it, i think it's the other enterprise the one that we got for 199 originally that they actually call these ones are actually called the shady prize i'll show you that now so I've got Enterprise 171D 1859A slash C compared to the other one, which is, you know, it, it's got the wrong base to start with. So 170D AGT, all good things, and 2860A slash B. So it's, it should have been the first, isn't this first? I think they produce a lot of these anyway because they were free for subscribers and yeah, if you haven't noticed, I've been a subscriber for Eagle Moss for quite a number of years. So, the thing with it is, let me get you in a little bit and show you exactly what I mean. The Shady Prize was meaning that there's more panels on this. You've got different types of guns, you've got different accenting. It's basically the same model, except it really, really isn't. I mean, there's more shading, there's more panel work. The nacelle ends, the uh, bussard collectors, are very, very dark red. They, they look quite dark purple on the, the camera. I wonder if somebody's tried somebody's tried doing the saucer separation on this. Uh, that would work, I think. But we'll leave that anyway. I can't, it's easy to glue them back in place anyway. Now, there's a difference, again. I mean, I'm not going about the gun although there are differences with the gun, the NCC-1701 hasn't got the gap between. So, should we get these side by side? You can tell there, because there's more detail on this one, on the Shady Prize, than there is on the standard one that I got, which was an old, which is one of the first runs anyway. This was part of the second run. I don't want to describe that because I've been a subscriber for... Um, Eagle Moss for quite a long time. I think this was down to the first factory getting shut down and the new one came along with something a heck of a lot better. I mean, you've even got part of where this big door is here at the bottom underneath where the, the phaser bank is. And you got on this one, absolutely no detail, hardly at all. Side by side. Yeah. 
Even the gun itself, the it's orange accenting round there, and it's yellow on here. Orange around the the, the bussard. Actually, to be honest, the bussards, the nacelles look wider, but I don't think they are. But also, you're missing underneath the nacelles. There's that little um, red part on there on the the original one. It's missing from the the Shady Prize version. You've got gold accenting for the, you can see them shining there, all six of these, the transporter buffers on here, they're more of a brown colour. But that's just the underside. Let's have a look what they are on the top. There you go again, you can tell there's so much more detail on here, however, there's so much missed. That's the main part that I'm missing, is they just put the gun straight at the top of the over the top of the numbers and it's not it's completely different yellow bit inside there for the end of the, the super weapon and not even filled on this one that's really weird so let's go for the sources then the guns either side of the bridge these are just yellow there's more detail on the shady prize version the left one the torpedo launcher on the back there's a lot more different detail work. You've got the, the section behind the torpedo launchers is not painted, but it's dark gray on here, right there. And behind as well, you've got more different accenting. So, it's very, you can even see there within the cells. Well, I said the top one, you can tell better. The third one is the one, the original one is red and the other one is a lot darker. But there's so much, I wanted this, the Shady Prize one, just because it's one of those ones that it's rare and you would never really know unless you dig into a lot of this. I mean, most things, you've got the extra winglets on the bottom of the nacelles. Never straight nacelles, anyway. Actually, the, the, um, the Shady Prize one has actually got straight nacelles. Mine hasn't, so, hmm. But well, that's it's it's good to have these, and it looks like there's too much detail work on this. And this one, I do prefer this one because it looks nice. There's subtle detail. You can tell there's paneling on there, but not as much as being whacked in the face by it. But it would be good if they actually had a middle ground between this and that one. Oh so, yeah, you can tell a mile off. The, but the thing is, these are not the same... I wouldn't say they're the same tooling. But they have to be. But it's just a different paint scheme. Did they just go on and say, Hi, I would like a new paint scheme, please. Yes, no problem. I mean, there's, there's on the side of the bridge here, because I'm doing the Enterprise D model kit, there's these three black lines there at the back of the bridge. It's supposed to be vents or something. On the Shady Prize, they're still there as well. <laughs> but there's so much more detail on, or there, there's so much missing as well. Actually, going back to the Metro Enterprise, you can see there with the nacelles, there's three black lines on the um, nacelle there that are missing from the Metro Enterprise, which I hope they will correct later on. If not, we'll see what happens. So there you go. There's a, there's a comparison, straight comparison between the original classic first run version and the Shady Prize. We even got gold phaser banks on the back corner there, they're meant to be black. Or at least this dark grey colour. I mean, I'm actually wondering on this one if the guy who owned this before me, because obviously I've not been given two by Eagle Moss, either has done a, a source of separation or couldn't because the gun's in the way. I guess that with the source separation on this one, you'd have to remove the gun plastic gun on a metal body but I don't know we'll leave it like that for a time being I've had enterprises before that I've kind of you can take them off there is a pin that goes straight through anyway so I don't want to pull this off anyway because it will not come off and even gluing on is going to be a bit of a problem to do well, yeah, I mean, comment comment down below which one you think. You, you, you like the, the original version, nice, smooth, little bit of accenting, nothing over the top, nothing that you can you complain about, or the Shady Prize. Because there's a lot of model kits out there which are like this. The Corgi version was very much like this. It was kind of, yeah, too much detail. But that's a definitely 
a bad thing. NCC 01D. Hmm. I don't think that is. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, that's fine. It's forgivable, I suppose. You're just being slapped together by, by a production line. That's not a problem at all. It's nice to see these variants anyway. So, good. So yeah, comment below, see which one you would like. The original Shady Prize. And in that case, I will see you in another video. Please like and subscribe. I've been doing this for, for long enough now. Um, follow my social media. I'm on lots of different things like I'm, I'm, I'm back on Facebook, on Twitter, I'm on Discord, a little bit of Instagram, nothing over the top major, but if you want to help out the channel as well, donate something, please get in touch anywhere you like. With that in mind, I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.